Hey everybody, it's Irene with Brainstorm Acres. And obviously I'm back in the greenhouse again. Now yesterday, the other day, whatever day that was, I came in and I planted a few radish seeds. Today, I'm basically going to do the same thing. I'm on my lunch break in the middle of my metal symposium, symposium and I am going to replant some of the things that got munched the other day by uh, a rat. So, I am going to leave in place these karabis that still exist. The ones that have, you know, a couple of leaves. But the ones that are just a stem, no, I'm just going to toss those out. I hate to do that, but they've had quite a while to recoup. And if they haven't recouped by now, I don't think they are going to. So I'm just going to get my package. These are supposed to be planted. One quarter to one half inch deep. They look like your typical brassica seeds, just little teeny tiny black balls, brown balls, you know. And I'm going to plant these around the outside the same way as I originally did, just by making holes with my finger. And then I'll put a couple in the center so that I'm maximizing the space. That's it. Super simple. Now, from experience, I know that if I accidentally drop in more than one seed, the world will not end. Kohlrabi's kind of are an odd-looking plant. They look like a ball. Hey! What are you doing to my plant? Keep your nose out of there, dude. They look like a ball with leaves sticking out of the top. They're sort of a little alien. <laughs> and, uh... If there are plants that are too close together, as soon as the bigger of the two plants gets big enough to harvest, I'll harvest that. And it's kind of like a release. The second one will suddenly sort of jump ahead and catch up. Stop. Stop. Yes, Mr. Naughty Boy. Stop. Good stop. We're trying to break some of the bad habits lately. <laughs> and one of the bad habits is squeaking. <laughs> okay. Obviously, squeaking is fine if you really need something, but if you're just being annoying, it's not fine. Okay, these guys have been planted, so they'll get watered in just a minute. Um, I am looking at the puck toy plants here, and I've decided that some of them are definitely not going to come back. It's possible that this one might, so we'll give it a shot. But the ones that were reduced to just a stem, like this one, that's not going to do anything. It's dried up now. It's not crunchy yet, but it's just a matter of time before it gets crunchy. So I'm just going to plain remove those out of here, and we'll start over on this. Very, very annoying, because by now we should have been eating pot choy, but it happens. We've only had a rat or mouse get in here a couple of times over the years, but it's not a super uncommon thing in this part of the world. I have known of other people who've had problems before, but, you know, it's not usually us. These are shallower, and uh, they're saying one eighth to one quarter inch deep. Now, they don't, most people plant these in a row, and I'm not going to do that, because I know from experience I'm better off if I just like space it out 
If I was growing it in the garden, would I plant it in a row? Probably not. I just know what works, and uh, it, I have never liked thinning plants. I always thought of it as something of a crime to be wasting the seeds. So I much prefer to plant them out a bit farther and not have to thin. And this is plenty of seeds in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight plants if we get full germination. Statistically, we'll probably get close to full germination on that. I'm going to just kind of cover these guys a little bit. There we go. And one of the reasons I always water, one of the many reasons I always water after I plant seeds is because it, shh, no squeaking, it pulls the dirt in around the plant, the seed, and helps create a plant. Now this little stem here actually has a side shoot starting to come off of it, so I'm going to leave that guy. This other one doesn't look like it's going to try to do anything. Him. And we have one other guy over here, a bit iffy, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plant two in here, and we're just gonna see what happens. I don't usually replant a pak choy this way. I usually would transplant in new seedlings if I needed to, but I think it's worth a try in this case. And like I say, this guy here has got a little side shoot coming off of it. So we'll see how that goes. It's worth a try. There we go. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm really pleased with my time. That's really doing nicely now. I'm getting a lot of TLC because it's in, a, it's in a pot with other things, so. Yeah. Uh, probably time to give everybody a little hit of fertilizer again. So I think I'll do that today when I, when I water. And we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We had um, a little bit of damage from having to keep the pot lids, on the, the the saucers on top as much as possible during the whole rat affair. But uh, the new leaves that are coming out on the plants are doing really well. They're nice and bold, green, and healthy looking. So, like the radishes, a bunch of those are never going to look great because they have damage from when the lid was on them. The uh, saucer that I was using as a lid was on them. Um, and that damage is not going to heal itself. I could sit there and cut it all off. I'm honestly not going to worry about it. I will probably, probably harvest one radish out of here today. Decide which one's fattest. <laughs> I like harvesting the fattest ones out. Uh, so that Henry can have a radish for lunch. But I'm going to set up to... Uh, water now and that'll be it for the day so be sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell because obviously once again just a 10 minute thing what I did yesterday when I went back in the house was I fished out the, the um, um, I had a couple minutes before I needed to start my afternoon class and I fished out the seeds that I wanted and stuck them on the kitchen table so that I could find them real quick in between classes today more progress. It happens. So until next time, bye. And keep brainstorming because obviously we are. It may not be quite as efficient as we'd like it to be. It may not be quite as far along as we'd like it to be, but being along part of the way is better than not being along any of the way. So see you later. Bye.
Thank you.